the things that's going on between the two, but it's very, I feel like it's, it's very mild, um, but I, I don't know. I think it's cute. I'm deaf. I'm it's enjoying a fun watching rom-com. this. It is a fun, it's, yeah, it's definitely it's a, a fun generic, rom. Uh, good rom-com. I mean, you know, not the best thing ever, not the worst thing ever. I'm actually going to keep watching it probably because I like, I like the brother. He's, he is a, he's a Chad. Okay. <laughs> I like the brother, but I also like the like the girl's rival really classmate. Nice too. Yeah. I like oh, Kai. Oh, I hate that guy. Fuck that what? guy. Dude. I love Kai. I think he's cool. No, I'm I'm rooting for the Chad. Uh, you gotta watch more episodes. I don't like the quiet guys. They're too untrustworthy. We need loud, boisterous males. I like it. So you should give this a shot. I don't know if you would like it, but I think you should give it a shot. Mm, I don't know. I don't know no Maya. Just watch it. Fine. <laughs> 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 All right. What do we got next? All right. What do we got? We have. Uh, where is it? The, ah, is nope. it oh, those, this is on. Uh, oh, Koi. I'm scrolling uh, down the list <laughs> manually. Mashiro no Oto. Never mind. Forget it. Those Snow White notes. Yeah, what was Danny trying to say? Oh, I was going to say that the, the last show is on Crunchyroll and Verve. So. Well, just blurt it out. I did, just now. All right. <laughs> now we're talking about the next one. Snow White yeah, Notes. One... Actually, dude, this show, this show has like the, my favorite soundtrack because it has the shamisen. Yeah. And that instrument is fucking OP. That is like the best instrument ever. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. So cool. Ding, 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 ding. It's like, oh. It's so like energizing. A, it's basically a Japanese banjo, except cooler, like than a banjo. Yeah, it, dude, banjo. way better. Yeah, um, it's by Shin A Animation. Twelve episodes. Uh, Setsuya Samura runs away from his small home village following the death of his grandfather, the legendary shamisen master Matsugoro Sawamura. On his deathbed, Matsugoro told Setsu to give up the shamisen if he was only going to imitate others instead of playing in his own way. Grieving. Setsu runs away heads for Tokyo, hoping that the big city can inspire him to discover his own unique playing style. But Tokyo defies his expectations by drowning out all other sounds with the deafening noise of its city life. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, a little bit like Chihiro Furu or Shogun Raku Raku Shinju. I just butchered that name. Um, Because you got like traditional Japanese stuff that like kids are learning. Bringing it to the world. Apparently, there's another movie called Nitabo. That looks kind of cool. It's a shamisen. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, it's like it's kind of like a sports anime, a little bit. No, <laughs> with more music. Like a mu- <laughs> more like a music anime. It's, it's not a sports sport. anime. No, it's not. Music is a sport if you think about it. Music is music. It's music a sport. Sport. is <laughs> shamisen. Dude, music is shamisen. That's all it is. I get hype every time they do it. Even at two times speed, it actually even sounds better at two times speed. Oh, oh what's God, the name I'm of that so J Rock band? I don't know. It's like it's like J Rock and like um old world sh- like uh feudal Japanese shamisen music put together. I- I'll I'll link it to you later, Nick. But you would love it if you like this. But like you did, yeah. I, this is the one. This is one of them where I only watched one episode of. Um, but. I really like uh, it's based on a manga. I don't know if I don't think the manga's going anymore, is it? I don't know. But um uh I really like the main character. He's kind of that stoic looking guy. The manga is still ongoing and it's in weekly it, it's in Shonen Ma- magazine monthly. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, so you have like the main character like his grandfather taught him and like he doesn't he like do an intro for another band? Or he he uh, what do you call it? Opens? He did he, he did the opening band? he did the opening for the girl that uh, he like stayed the night at um, because she he kind of like uh, like exposed the boyfriend for cheating on the the girl that he stayed with for that for that day. And, um, 
what you'll call it. And, like, the guy was just being so melodramatic. And he's like, I'm not going to go on. Blah, blah, blah. And then they're all like, hey, can you, like, stall the opening for a bit? And that's what he kind of did. And everyone was mm. just watching, like, in awe and amazement. Mm. Yeah, yeah it's a good I, show. Um, they, got a, they got a shamisen club that they're going to create. They got uh, a couple of girls that are going to join it. They have this like famous lady who jo- who like makes the guy play and then she sings to it. I don't remember what her connection is to all of them, but so she's like that's her. Mo- that's 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 um that's the main character's mother. She's oh high. okay. I didn't even understand that. Okay, she's fine as wine. Maybe if you would stop watching shows at two times speed, <laughs> you would realize <laughs> that. This not I, only I blink, that, I blink and I miss the character introduction. <laughs> not only that, but if you look at the characters on my anime list, it t- it says her last name is the same you, last name as the main character. Let me tell you what this podcast is. I was elected to lead, not to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you can never finish an, a manga for well, a manga let me tell club. You, let me tell you what this podcast is. Nick, gotta go fast. Watch it two times speed. You guys are too slow. And then, uh-huh. and then us, me, and then, and then Danny. You need to slow down and watch stuff and actually read and poop. And then, <laughs> and then, and then me, in in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You guys have any proxy battles, dude? Shut up! <laughs> I'm gonna do a proxy battle review. By myself, fuck you guys. This is no. this is a binge anime. Snow White so, notes, binge it. It's a sport. So so here's 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 uh, what I'll say. I've been craving another music anime. Uh, there you so go. It is. Watch this one. So, so okay, but uh, let me say this though. So and I forgot to say this during the contact info, so I'm sorry. But I guessed it on the my the talking anime podcast uh, with Mitch and uh, Sky and. For their that was their birthday episode, so I th- again thank you for the honor. I really appreciate it, and I'm sorry that I didn't mention this earlier. It comes out today, so if um if you're listening to this and you haven't gone over there and listened to it yet, please go listen to it. Um, but we were talking about music anime, and he was like, "You still haven't seen Beck?" And they were giving me so <laughs> yeah, what much. What the fuck, Sam? Some- what is your problem? I've, yeah, I've been so- telling you that for five years. <laughs> So Nick has been telling me that for like the past ten years, and Danny's been telling me, or no, was it was Danny or somebody else. I don't know. But I keep basically, telling you everybody. to watch Nana. Oh yeah, Nana. That's right. That's another one. Yeah. So, yeah, I've, I've been craving a music anime, and this is kind of this kind of satiated my craving a little bit. Satiated. Really <laughs> Sat- satur- it's saturated. What are you, me? Making up words now? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, is your is your facade uh uh s- foggy or whatever? <laughs> facade. Or no, 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 I said I meant to say facade. Remember when I said facade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facati. Facati. Anyway, sorry. Um check out Talking Anime podcast. But yeah, I really like um this I like the first episode I saw. You know, I like so so far I like it. Um and watch a little more, obviously, but it's gonna be. I, I hope it's gonna be cool. I hope it gets like epic. I hope I see some. Dude, epic it fuck, it's epic playing. every episode. Every time they string those shamisen chords, it like it zooms into like a mountaintop or some shit. They're like, oh man, it's like snow. It's like a mountain. It's like singing mountain. in my in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, nut every time. Uh. That one is on Crunchy. Mm-hmm. All so, right. What do we got next? We'll so there's a bunch of stuff we didn't watch yet. What is this? I've never even heard of this. There's oh, yeah, Princess Duran. of Snow and Blood. That, that one Duran. sounds cool, but it yeah. has a low score. Saint's Magic Power is Omnipotent. We totally fucking missed that one. Did you guys watch that? No. I'm going to add it to plan to watch. I'm going to put it on hold. There's also Seven. Bernie. Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, Mike told me to watch this. All right. And Zayla was all like, I'd be surprised if Danny wasn't watching this. There's also Burning Kabaddi, or I also nah, call, I like to call stupid. it. I like to call it Burning Ciabatta Bread. It's that's mediocre. The, that's I watched the show where they have to yell the it. name of the sport as they play it. 
It's literally <laughs> tag. It's it's they were they're playing tag. Like the AAA it's, podcast, they they did they they had a really good review on it. They're like, it would be like if you were playing basketball and you just yelled basketball as you were dribbling. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I thought it was another basketball show, but it turned out when I watched it, it's like, oh, this is not basketball. It's just tag. It was 7.08, so, yeah. It's okay. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to finish it. Yeah. I don't watch sports anime unless they're, like, the top-rated sports anime, because fuck that. All right. Odd Taxi. Here we go. Dark Horse of the Season. Yeah. Do we need to talk about this? We all know this show's going to be a 10 out of 10. Uh, Yeah. So. That was a walrus. Fucking walrus face Johnson taxi driver, man. Fuck off. He's banging the alpaca. (laughs) And then there's... And then you have Just fucking uh, oh Gorilla God. Face Dr. Johnson. Oh, my God. Yeah, Gorilla Doctor. Then you got like a, what is it, a monkey dude who's like a janitor or something. You got the comedy duo. Okay, so what is Odd Taxi? You got a walrus who drives a taxi, and he's like this blunt guy, and he's trying to like you know live a regular life. And he meets a bunch of these unique individuals that enter his taxi. It's not like the porno kind of taxi thing. You know, they're not doing any of that. But like uh, he's, you know, he's got like his dash cam. And he, he catches, like, a crime on his dash cam without knowing it, or a criminal. And he's – so, like, it's kind of like a mystery show. Like, he, he runs into these strange characters. Someone went missing, and they they have a suspect, and they took his uh, dash cam. Yeah. And yeah, the character like went missing. Yuc- it's like some Yakuza involved shit and the cops on the internet, the, cr- the crooked cop. But then also the walrus, like, he goes home and he he's, like, talking to this door and he's like, you know you can leave anytime you want. <laughs> so it's like, like wait, yeah, does he like, have the missing person? Probably. Um, and then there's, like, this Tanaka idol looks like too. Smokey. Yeah, exactly. Smokey. <laughs> Dude, this is, like, this is like if a Gretzico was, like, actually artsy. I'm just kidding. It, it, Gretzico is good, too. This All is right, like this is like a different version of the Now you're going too far it, there. This is like if this is like if B Stars was good. <laughs> okay. Whoa, okay. You know what? Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to make everyone mad. <laughs> oh man. Listen. You gotta Nick, chom down. You don't have to be a bitch, you know? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. This is like I'm if BNA you... was good though, right? Oh my I, fucking god. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you. Well, it's better than BNA. You gotta, you gotta admit that. Come on, BNA we, was okay. Okay, well, it was that's, okay. It was true. You know, that's to be debated. But at the same time, you need to quit farting. Hot take: Most trigger shows are medium. Anyway, I'll tell you. Wait, who um, did Odd Taxi? Uh, Studio OLM. Oh, I, th- I thought it said Olympics, but it's like OLM and Picks. OLM Picks. So I'm now on the characters list. I'm going to. List my favorite Animal Face Johnsons from this list. Okay. Okay. You don't have to list all of them. Okay. <laughs> Sam's so gonna list all of them. I wasn't gonna say all of them. Okay. Here we here we go. Let me start. Oh, so man. Otokawa, Baba, Daimon, Daimon, Dobu, Fukumoto, Goriki, Shiho, Imai, Kabasawa. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess so far I am listing all of them. I'll just keep going. <laughs> uh, Kakihana. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep going. I'll, I'll t- I told you you don't have to list all of them. God yeah, damn it! You fucking knew I was gonna do it. Yeah, no. I honestly though, Tanaka does look like Smokey, and my favorite, one of my favorites, is uh, Seki Gucci. He's not a he's not a big character. He's just one of like the Yakuza muscle guys. He's like a like a big beefy uh, bodyguard guy. But he's Tanaka? a big polar bear with oh, like a, Oh, I see him. Okay. He's a big polar bear oh, with he... a scratch on his face. Who? Tanaka? Tanaka looks like Puffy. Tanaka looks like yeah, Smokies. Yeah, he does. Well, is, 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 tell me, is, is, he, is he always listless? I don't remember ever seeing yes. Tanaka in the show yet, though. When does he show up? Uh, Five? five or oh, six? that's why. I only watched I think, three. Yeah. yeah. That's why. Yeah, we, you're only supposed um, to watch three. You guys are cheating. Make me look then, bad. Oh, who and, cares? Whatever. And, just watch as much as you right. can. Shit. Okay, anyway, so I'm just going to keep going here. That's not a Kondo, fair, that's not a fair okay, to shake. Stop it. <laughs> no more. So what was that episode where you just started listing? Like, what did you start listing? Like, food or something? Or it was like... I was listing <laughs> animals that I like. Things that... It's like things that I like. It was just things that you liked, I think. 
<laughs> yeah, I think it was or it was animals that I liked. I don't remember. Or no, no maybe it, it was just things. It I It was liked. just things yeah, that you liked. Anyway, Fukumoto's the shit because he's a panda. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all about that alpaca in her. She's pretty fucking hot. Dude, the dude. alpaca. She's a babe. She is kind of. <laughs> she is babe city. Can you imagine uh, stroking that that fur? <laughs> god. <laughs> okay. Anyway, no, but you know what? Okay, so honestly, though, real before we move on, real quick, uh, Animal Face Johnson's aside, I do kind of like the dude. The dialogue in the show is really good. That's like the one of the best yeah. parts. Suspense. It is really because it's, it's scripted like really well. It's really yeah. The, it's scripted well. It's it, it's biting and it's like it it just it's like gets to you. You know, like the, the way that the walrus talks. You he's know? so just blunt and straight up, like he just—he's like, like straightforward. Uh, you know, he's—he's he's like telling this influencer dude to fuck off, and like the, the influencer yeah. takes like this shitty selfie that like goes viral somehow. Nobody knows yeah. how. Um, he was like, "You make shit up and tweet it, and it goes viral. What the fuck?" He's like, "This is stupid." Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, yeah, and then um, like the radio comedy duo on the on the radio is like, they're not funny, but they're funny because they're not funny. And eventually they get into his taxi too, and he's like telling him that he's like a fan of theirs and stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's dude, it's like you got the corrupt cops, you got the yakuza people, you got that babe alpaca chick. She's hitting on the on the walrus, and you know she's like his nurse with at the her same dance time. moves. Yeah, she's like trying to like fucking kick him and shit. And uh, dude, it's just like really cool. It's like this. It's like a chill like fucking. The, the the soundtrack is great. The OP and ED are good. But I want to like see a, where it there's goes. A, there's a mystery of this, you know, this missing persons thing at the beginning. I don't know if that's going to be the whole show. You know, maybe it could be just a part of it. But yeah, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I think it's I think be the cool. best parts of dialogue. I think this has the best dialogue of the season. The conversations, just even just in the taxi alone, you know, um, the conversation with uh, Goreki, the gorilla doctor, when he goes to see the doctor, you know, that conversation was really good. Yeah, and, exactly. I don't know. It's just like it just and like, with and like when he's like pulling, he's like playing chicken with like the the yakuza monkey that gets in the in the cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's There's like, oh, like, you can kill me. That's fine. <laughs> he's like calling his bluff and shit. Yeah. And there's like the convos just are really real. They just seem super real. Like they're real convos. Yeah, it's not like the typical anime shit where they're like, eh. you know, they don't they don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. But yeah, odd taxi. Check it out. It's on a great it's show. It's an odd taxi. Yes, Danny, God it is. It. <laughs> it would be good, though, if an animal Crunchy sat in there and they're like, wow, this sure is one odd taxi, and they, like, leave the door, or, like, they close the door, you know? Because you got to say the title every time. God damn it. Next right, anime, anyway. what do we got? Super Cub! S- Woo! Super... The I can actually read that. Iyashike of the season. I can read that that katakana right there, which is really cool. It just says Super Cub, but it's like Super Kabu. Super cute. Dude. So this is Studio Kai. Shout out to Kai. Shout out to Kai. Some great Madoka Magic videos. (laughs) Madorno Bongiorno. Oh, they did Um, Uma Musume. Pretty derby. All right. So, Nick, you're going to have to kind of check me on this one because I only watched the first episode of this. But... um, it's a it's a it's a hobby anime. Like the girl likes her fucking bike, or her cub, whatever scooter right. thing. Right. So and she's like the, a nobody. She's nothing. Yeah. the The first episode good is somehow. like she's biking to school and she's like having a hard time biking, to sc- like going up this fucking hill, biking there and back. She lives by herself. Um, yeah, she has like no did. parents and like nothing. Like, how does she live? Does she have a, a job? Like, how how does she get money? I have no idea. Maybe probably her family some, sends it to her. Pr- extended probably family. some governmental thing, or yeah, her inheritance. You know, family or inheritance. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. But it, it doesn't say. I don't think. And she you has know, maybe like it will such later. a depressing apartment. It's like, she's but yeah. She's like Ray Ayanami, basically. It's Ray Ayanami but, yeah. gets a hobby. <laughs> basically, <laughs> yeah. Show. Basically, yeah. And um, this, and so like, she's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to that that place that's kind of behind the school that sells scooters because she sees one of her classmates driving away on a scooter because she's like fuck this bike right and they're really expensive and he pulls out a honda super cub uh from the back and he's like this is a used one um this particular one has been in a few accidents and gotten people killed so that's why it's so cheap 
Um, but oh, basically, she's like, great, I want to die. <laughs> she's like, fucking, just <laughs> give it to me, like, fuck it. But it's ten thousand yen, dude. And it's like hundred bucks. Know, it's like a hundred bucks. Like seriously, that's a deal for like a super cub. That's like especially. one Pokemon card. That literally is like half of a Pokemon card. <laughs> She didn't even have to get stabbed to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, I I don't think it was a model that was released in America, um, but it is a pretty fucking cool little bike. Um, but uh, they did re-release it in Japan um, in celebration for this anime as well, and you can um, get it for about $3,800. Um Wow, right false now. advertising. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that there, what? it's a Not red. It's the anime said it was a hundred. I demand a recount. Can you uh, can you do a price match on this anime? <laughs> yeah, price match this <laughs> anime. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like, I, I want I want to say you pull this. Pull out though, your fucking okay? Dagimakra. So uh, Yashi K, totally right. But like, the Healing. the art style is is like a realistic kind of anime. So like, you know, all the characters have black hair. You know, there's not like different colored hair, bitches, whatever. There's a very nice shade uh, of nature tone. Yeah, the backgrounds are good. The backgrounds are amazing. It's very, this is like aesthetic, the anime kind of. I think this is going to be the most aesthetically pleasing one of the season. Honestly. Somebody, somebody compared this on Mal. They recommended um, Maho no Tabi Tabi. How 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 is that show similar to this? Wandering Witch. Maho no Tabi Tabi? Wandering Witch is nothing like this. What the hell? Euro Camp is very similar, though. I would say that's true. A little bit like non no yeah, Bakuan. Um, okay, this is like Bakuan, but less funny. <laughs> Bakuan is fucking great. Yeah, this is more just like feel good aesthetic. Dude, lo-fi. every Bakuan is like the best girls on bikes anime. Here's, by far. Here's here's what it is. This is the anime you put on and then you study to. This is lo-fi beats to study to. The anime, dude. And you except and, there's uh, no beats really, but. Who do you who do you got? Who do you got? You got uh you got what's her name? Koguma or Reiko? Reiko, dude. Dude, same, same. Well, I don't know who Reiko is, I just like the way she looks. I haven't seen well, the yeah. episode. Well <laughs> what else what else is there? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, well, well yeah, Reiko, yeah, what else? But like here's here's what I'm gonna say. I'll tell you how good how good this anime looks, right? I can see it literally next week, some fucking trap hop or vaporwave artist is gonna take a scene from this of her driving down the high down the street. Oh yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and looping it. You know what I mean? Like that's how aesthetically like pleasing it looks. You Dude, know? I still think it's so funny. Onisama E. We read the manga, and I watched the like this music video, uh, anime soundtrack thing, and I didn't realize it was Onisama E. <laughs> oh god! I had it on for like an hour, and she's like staring out the train. I'm like, oh, that's Onisama E. <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't even realize that's what it was. All right. Yeah, dude. Anyway, now I want to get a Super Cub. See if I can go find that would one be cool. on Craigslist. I want to get a Bach one chick. Get a Bach to rub chick. bubbles all over the, or all over the bike. All okay. right. Speaking of bubbles, be shown in Super Tante Cub Den. is on Super Cub is on uh, Verve. Funimation. Think, uh, Funimation. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Funimation. It's not on Verve. It's on Funimation. Be Next Shonen show. Tante Danny's Den. favorite show. Pretty because boys. it's a cute one. I did not watch this one. This so is Studio Shaft, Nisio Eason. That's the only reason Shaft. I watched it. <laughs> Studio Shaft does a lot of really cool art avant-garde shit. You know, obviously Monogatari, Madoka Magica, they did Nisekoi. Anyway, this one is, it's like a mystery Sherlock Holmes style thing. Uh, the first arc I only watched that had like the this girl who's like trying to find a star, which is like, is that like a metaphor? She's trying to become an astronaut or something? Uh, and she me- she goes into this host club, the Oron host club, and the boys there. The Oron host club is that you what have, you're calling them? You got Professor Hakase boy, who's like <laughs> the Nichi Joe. He's got two long sleeves, and then you got like the pretty boys. You got the legs. You got you got legs. You got uh Seto Kaijo, and you got you got you got Tokyo Revenger boy, and then you got the other. I don't even fucking know who the other boy is. You like. He's kind of you weirdo. have you have someone who uh, who has Sherlock a lolly con- complex. But yeah, there you go. And luckily, she's she's kind of borderline, right? She's fourteen, so I don't know. 
it's hard to tell in anime. They all look the same. <laughs> look, this show is uh, it's a, it's okay. It's- it's visually pleasing. Yeah, Studio like, Shaft does a good the job. The background, the backgrounds are really nice. Um, the main character, um, Mayumi, her eyes are just gorgeous. Or, what are they? Purple. She has. They're she purple has, and she has, she has the, like uh, star. Like she has kind of like a star iris. What was that purple show? Kyoto anime. Kyoto animation. Um, Hyoka. She has Hyoka face. Oh yeah. Hyoka eyes. Sir, um, look with your special eyes. Dude, put some respect on Chitanda's brand. name. Put some respect on Chitanda's name right now, dude. Oh, yeah, Chitanda. Bitch. I'm curious. Chitanda. Do you think I that Ben Shapiro know. copied Chitanda? Because he always says what? curious. Anyway. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the same thing. No. No. <laughs> He's secretly a weeb. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Oran Host Club meets Bakemon and Gattery. Wait, Danny um, didn't watch this one? I did. It's not oh. as good as either of them, but it's it's all right. It's pretty decent. Honestly, it's pretty decent. It's it's visually uh, interesting. And, like, they solve a mystery in the first three episodes. Like, they're trying to find the star. Like, literally a star? They're trying to find a constellation or something? Well, there's something that goes beyond that. Um, it's because like she was trying it, to. She there's had a, a dream conspiracy parent- theory that the star that she actually oh, saw yeah, yeah, yeah. might have been like a nuke, a nuke or something like that. Yeah, like a satellite so, got shot down, and yeah, it's like, so, wait a second. Yeah. So if she saw that, how would anybody know that she saw it? And she was four when she saw it. <laughs> it's like, oh no, the fucking feds are gonna get me. The the CIA the CIA is gonna get me. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, it was it was kind of cool. Um. They had some some little cool dialogue because like she she her parents didn't want her dream, but then she was like she also didn't want her dream. She was like mocking her own dream and thinking it's ugly. I don't know. They said a sentence like that. They had some they had some pretty funny dialogue in here. My favorite is like there's it's like they they had like the Fight Club thing. They're like there's only three rules: be pretty, be a boy, and be a detective. <laughs> like yeah, I remember when I was talking about this on the newscast. I was like, I read that slogan. And I was like, oh god. But my my, my favorite's know, like, can I ask you a question? Only if that question is beautiful. <laughs> oh, the question's beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's a pretty decent show. If you mm. like pretty boys, this it's is It's a little show. weird. It's a little out there. It's not. It doesn't have, like, an immediate hook. I think that's the main thing. You have to really like Nisio Eason to, to watch it. Right. Okay. Um, did you guys happen to watch anything else or no? Oh yeah, dude, I... we watched the best show ever made, um, House Husband, The Way of the House Husband. Oh God, no! You guys seen this it's on Netflix? That shit's trash. <laughs> it's so the, so the manga is like really fucking good. We read that at Manga Club, and I'm like, oh, ten out of ten. And then, and I... then the anime is like a clip show. It's, it's a motion so comic, yeah. It's, it's still so funny. Like the voice acting is really good. And the jokes are still like funny, but then you're like, you're like, it's, it's not fucking moving. <laughs> you're like poking it with a stick. You're like, do something. You just like read the manga, yeah. Look, they animated um, a mean lip flap. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. The way of the house husband, the manga. Everybody read the manga. Has, manga is ten out of ten. Yeah. It's so good. It's it so has good. One of the greatest pages of manga of all time. Yeah, just read it. One, of, one of the most relatable pages. Oh, you got to post it ever. now. Post it in our chat. Um, yeah, I'll find it. But like, it's this, it's the girl, I forgot her name and she's seeing all the cats and she's like, I, I can't hold it any longer. Uh-huh. And then she just sniffs the cat <laughs> <laughs> and the, on his back and the cat's like, Ram. <laughs> just like if you have, okay, listen, shut up. Okay. If you're a cat owner, you understand 100% what I'm talking about. You just fucking sniff cats. Like they smell good. They smell like fucking cats, dude. And like, here's my favorite thing. Whenever I cook egg rolls. It gets the smell gets caught in Smokey's fur, so I just smell him for like two days. He smells like egg rolls. Nice. <laughs> yeah, dude. And I can't wait to like start grilling outside and have Smokey outside on a leash, and then he just smells like ribs. Yummy. Summertime. You think Smokey um, like gets some, gets some some background uh, food at, like licking himself? You know what I mean? Like saving it for later. Yeah. He definitely does that. 
he 100 percent does that he's always sniffing i don't like it i hate it i hate it when he's he's always walking around going <laughs> <laughs> so i don't have time for this dude just get out of here um I watched the first episode of The World Ends With You, which is the anime adaptation of the oh, game. Oh, yeah. The same yeah, name. Yeah, I watched a couple of episodes of that. It's okay. Yeah, it's a, they just came out with the remake, or the, the, remake, the Switch remake, and uh, yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah. From what I hear, I haven't played it. But, um, yeah, dude, it's pretty cool. If you, like the, if you like the game, I think the anime is pretty well animated, and it's done in the style of the art. Mm-hmm. So it just looks like Tetsuya Nomura's art style animated, which is super cool. I'd imagine if they did a Kingdom Hearts anime, it would they should look just do the it like way. they should just do it like this. Yeah, yeah, it's super cool. Which one is this? You know, uh, Subarashiki Konosakai, the animation. Uh, the world ends with you. Konosuba. Anyway. Oh God! <laughs> oh, I'm this. watching. I'm I watching didn't even backflip, which is Boku Ten, the rhythmic. Rhythmic gymnastics. Oh god, I saw that and I'm like, oh. yep. nope. There's no Isn't monsters. This carrying over from the last season or something, or no? This or is, is this completely. New? This is a completely different one. That's a cool Wait, title though. Backflip. That's a pretty provocative time. title. Gymnastic samurai. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. I was mixing them up. There's also Megalobox too. There's a bunch of sequels that I want. Yeah, to we'll yeah. cover the sequels in our in our finale. To watch any of the sequels, I'm yeah. Super, we'll talk about an interview. Yeah, I'm super hyped for Moriarty, that second part of Moriarty. I'm also the Lord watching. Of crime. Um. Uh, welcome Irumaku? to well, well that, but also welcome to Demon School, Irumika. Oh yeah, Irumakun. Yep. I, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That one, I think. Oh no! And then there's the other demon one, the uh, demon lord. How not to summon a demon lord? Two or whatever that symbol is. Too much stuff. Uh, what, do we, what else we yeah. got? Zombie Land Saga. Zombie Land Saga Revenge. Yep. Um, I think those my are the hero. big sequels. Yeah, My Hero, of course, season five. Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket Final. I gotta catch yes. up. Yes. I'm yeah, finale. I am so. Okay, so but of hype. of the stuff we've watched, uh, what what do you think? Okay, do we do want? Let's do the OP ZDs first. What's your what's your favorite OP of like these sixteen ones that we covered over past couple of weeks? Um, I really liked the opening to Odd Taxi, um, and I also really liked the opening to. Yeah, 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 you get one. Okay, I'll just say Odd Taxi. All right. I was gonna say, I was gonna say VV. Fluoride's eye song. But, let me watch that. Uh, really the Odd Taxi cool. opening is just really cool. It's like a rap, funk, rock song. Really it's, cool. Yeah, it's not like other OPs. It sounds unique. Yeah, and there's a bunch of just city shots and auto auto college driving around and um, really cool. I really like it. That song is called, uh, it's just called Odd Taxi by Squirt and Poon, Poon, Pee, Poon, Pee, Poon Pee. But yeah, dope. What about you guys for OPs? Sam, why did you... Okay, sorry. Why did you copy... Why did you paste the question of the week on my fr- on my ED? Oh, that was on accident because I was, I was fucking nope, up. It's already, oh, it's already yours now. Too bad. Because <laughs> I think it said... I th- well, before that, it just said my ass. Anyway. Oh, Dan, he's doing Shadow House to just to fucking make me mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's your OP, though? My OP is Crybaby from Tokyo Revengers. That one's solid. Pretty good. Uh, I'm going to say Miss Nagataro-san. Uh, I, just, oh, I just love her face, dude. I can't I can't get enough of it. Just love her face. Miss Nagatoro, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty catchy, too. It's like, Oh, dude, that, that fang and that, that smug smile. The song itself is like kind of medium, but yeah, whatever. I thought you didn't like the flesh fang thing. No, he no, liked, no, 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 no. I don't like the teeth fangs. I don't like the shark teeth. A single oh. flesh fang is good. Oh, okay. That According song is called uh, Easy Love by Sumire Uesaka. And uh, the Tokyo Avengers one is called Cry Baby. And that's by... I said um, that. Oh, did you? I said Cry Baby. I just didn't... Oh. Na- I didn't I didn't say the people who... who yeah, the name who of the group it. is called Official Hige Dandism. Uh, which is 
very fitting because the main character cries a lot and yeah. for a good reason, honestly. But yeah. you know, yeah. Uh, what about uh, Edie's, uh, Danny? Nai Nai from Shadow's House. <laughs> I gotta look up this again. It can't be good. It's a good one. I like it. God, it's I gonna be it's like good. it's gonna make me want to shoot. Myself. I don't know. I it reminds me. It like like the actual song. It kind of reminds me of like melanie martinez music like, yeah. oh it is ca- like it's got dark, the train going that like dark funk kind of thing yeah um i picked it's pretty catchy the... yeah it's a little scary though <clears throat> i like the ed to tokyo Revengers. yeah that one's good too yeah they're both Kokede good de Iki Woshite by uh, ale yeah super cool that's what i picked for my ed i'm gonna go with odd taxi ed i know it's just a taxi yeah, man <laughs> it's really catchy though yeah the song is really good yeah the song is super good uh that's called sugarless kiss by suzuka mimori um and then i guess the ed changes later to something else after episode five but i haven't watched it that far but yeah dude um what do you guys think is going to be anime of the season for you not counting well, sequels of the stuff we watched. Oh, I didn't even write mine down. Just of the stuff we watched. I oh, wanna I say, sequels, yeah. I want to say Tokyo Revengers, but I really, I, I hate to say it because of the censorship. I don't know. All right, Danny. Yeah, like five it, minute explanation on why the the shoulder patch is bad. <laughs> I is don't it just the shoulder still... patch? Like, was, was that it? It's on the sleeve. But is that it's is that the whole on, thing? It's it's pr- it's pretty much like on their sleeve, on the back of their jacket. Okay, so some, what? It's not some, that bad. Some some um like some of the bikes have the logo on their bikes. There was a lot yeah. cut out, like in that whole scene. It's, so it's just in all it is is a logo. Five. All it is is a logo, right? It's not like they're not censoring like blood and nipples and like making the entire screen no. black no. like Tokyo Ghoul. No. They're not no. like they're not have like giant beams of light over the half the screen. Yeah, actually, they did do the giant beams of light over half the screen on episode five. Yeah. Okay. They well, tried I to make it look one. like the bike lights. Just watch comparisons on YouTube. You'll see. Um, so, I don't know. For me, I think it's still going to be Tokyo Avengers. But what were you saying, Danny? Well, I was just going to say like I really, I would love to say Tokyo Avengers, but it's such a buzzkill with the censorship. I don't know. I feel like just because the, the way it looks, right? Yeah, and I feel like for us, like on the West Coast, I mean, it. it I don't know. It. I just. Wait, just you're on the East to Coast. Be, just to be a, a fan of um of the manga and like literally reading it in less than three days, you know, I don't really take offend. You know, this is a part of the gang. That's their. That's their symbol that they chose to use and everything like that. I understand why the censor that censorship is there, but they didn't have to go that route with the freaking beam of light literally across the screen where it's totally unwatchable. And they literally cut out a bunch of important characters, especially in that in that meeting scene and like okay, well, that's, seeing that's, all the see, captains that matters. and the everything. characters matter and, but okay. So and then right. there's also there's also like a bunch of scenes where they're just like zoomed in to cu- to at least like cut out half of the logo. Yeah. So, so it, I mean, if it makes it unwatchable, that's going to be a problem. They could have just done like some squares, kill, but at least it's like me. more work. Okay, Danny, a show that doesn't censor itself. What is what are you picking? Since yeah. You so anyway, one? yeah. What is your um, anime this season? I don't know. I mean, no, no, no sequels. I guess got to be something different. Just of what we watched. Yeah. Uh, Koi Kimo. And it could be from last week, too. It doesn't have to be this week. Um. Oh, yeah, probably. If not, Tokyo Avengers Dine is that on for me, for sure. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm just going to pick Koi or Kimo. Taxi. Koi okay. Kimo. Or even Odd Taxi, I guess. Pick yeah. Shadow House to make me mad. Shadow House. Okay, that's my anime of the season. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually pretty Nick? good. It's yeah, it's pretty. pretty it's pretty. It's, it's getting pretty decent. It's too scary. All right, mine. Um, 
Okay, so Sam is Tokyo Avengers. Danny is Koikimo or Shadow House. I'm going to pick. Okay, Vivi is pretty good. Um, You know what? I'm picking Odd Taxi. I got to go with my gut. Going Odd Taxi. Yeah, Let's animal go. Animal Face Johnson's. Dude, it's, animal it's, face it's Johnson's. so cool. Hell yeah, dude. dude. If, uh, if the snow, if the Shamisen anime like gets on fire then that one could win if if they just do like nine straight episodes of like shamisen solos that's anime of the year <laughs> like that's God. all it is oh man oh man dude all right um hell yeah dude let us know what some of your favorite seasonals are or you know shows from the season are um i i you know i'd like to know you know because maybe we're missing something Obviously, there was a lot to cover. You know, I know that there's 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 quite a few of you in the Discord who are talking about other stuff that we didn't cover in these first impressions. So let me know, let me know, let me know, let us know in the Discord. And um, yeah, that's the song I wrote for you just now. I hope you like it. That being said, uh, I hope you guys uh, are having a good. 2021 so far i love you guys very much i'm excited for the spring season and uh, thank you for listening every week and remember be there uh may 23rd sunday for our 300th episode live stream be there be a bitch as danny would say i've been sam that's danny that's nick and this has been the anime summit podcast walrus face johnson walrus <laughs> <laughs>